install this one. Let's see what is the menu for this uh, document and run and config the virtual machine on virtual box. And uh, pay attention. The, the built-in account, its name is called seed and its past password is a reverse word of seed, the DES. So you know the default account and the account password. Now I open it, uh, document in the new tab. So you see uh, this one is an updated version, 2019, August 18. Here you can, uh, it was provided a root. Here you normally don't need to log in as a root account. You have a root ID and a password, seed Ubuntu. Then these are the steps of how to uh, create the virtual machine and set up a shared folder and uh, create a, a net network and so on. So I have a demonstrate all these steps here. This is a virtual box. First step, we create a virtual machine. Create a virtual machine and this virtual machine, uh, I create a seed. Now, I, I create a seed one because in this uh, 350, we need a three seed virtual machine. We create one, then the, the other two, we will clone from this seed one. Machine folder, you can choose a, a folder to save the virtual machine. If you use external USB, make sure you save your virtual machine to your external USB. If you want to save on your local, uh, on your internal hard drive, should find the location, choose the location. And uh, we use a, uh, CD is a Linux machine, and also it's a Ubuntu 32 bit. So choose Ubuntu 32 bit. And the ex, uh, expert mode, so you can uh, have more uh, options. Seed one, Linux, I save all my virtual machine under this folder. You may choose your folder on your own machine. If you use external USB, uh, choose your external USB here. Click other. Then you find your external USB. Here, I need to save the, on my external USB. You see in seed lab, actually, before I have lots of uh, virtual machines, I, I can show you. Because uh, I have done this uh, many times. Okay, you see uh, this is a seed, machine, uh, seed virtual machine I downloaded before. And these are the virtual machines I saved here. You can see I have seed one, two, three, have Ubuntu, have blockchain and so on. Now I want to delete seed one, seed two, seed three, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, uh, zero four, six, zero uh, six. And also you see I have a uh, Windows Server uh, 2019. Okay, now this is the external USB drive. My external USB drive, your, yours may, you need to make sure you, your location is uh, correct. Come here. Now you see I only have blockchain and Windows Server left here. Choose this location, MNT, VMS, VMS, this is my place. And the memory for seed, it's okay, choose just the one gigabytes. If you have good, have enough memory, it's suggest to choose a two gigabytes. Two gigabytes is a 2048 megabytes. And uh, create a virtual disk, uh, hard disk now. No, we don't need a virtual hard disk because uh, we use a seed image. So do not add a virtual hard disk. Or you know, use an existing virtual hard disk uh, files. And we will choose the later. Certainly you can choose it now. I will choose it later. Great. And now the system virtual machine is created. We will modify some settings. Before that, we need to set up a net network or a local 
simulation network. Click towards the preferences in this uh, network, so you can create a net network. I, I will delete this one and show you how to create. A, you just click this uh, add add new net network. Then you have a net network. You you can rename it or use this default name. Let's just use the default name. The network CID or the network ID. I would like to use a uh, uh, easier address. Uh, the address easier to remember. For example, ten ten dot twenty dot thirty dot thirty dot zero. So this is uh, this is easy to remember. Ten twenty thirty dot zero forward slash twenty four. You have learned this format in one thirty five. This uh, this is a private IPv four block. You can find all those uh, private IPv4 block uh, on Wikipedia. We don't need a port forwarding and click OK. This is the net network we need. And now we have a net network. Uh, make sure you disable IPv6. We don't need IPv6. That uh, DHCP dynamically add IP address for your virtual machine. You are suggested to set your virtual machine IP address uh, statically. So it's okay to put it here. Okay, okay, okay. Now uh, it's better close and restart because sometimes that network does not uh, start. Okay, this time we, we, we need to uh, change the settings of our virtual machine. Click settings. You can see uh, the list of summaries. So in your report, you only need to provide the list of summary. Here, general names, type, version, advanced, the shared clipboard, and the drag and drop between your host machine and this virtual machine. We can choose a by direction to make the enable, but it will not work if we don't have the virtual box guest edition. Okay, we only need to change this part, but. Uh, by default, we will not use this one. We will use the shared folder. It's okay, you make it bi-directional, which means you can drag and drop files from your host machine to your virtual machine or from your virtual machine to your host machine. This shared clipboard, which means you can copy anything from your host machine to your virtual machine or from your virtual machine to your host machine. For the system, here, the memory, you can modify it here. It's okay, leave it at one megabytes. The chipset, all this just put as default. The pointing device, here is a USB tablet, actually let's uh, uh, serve it. So the set it as a PS2 mouse, not a, a tablet. And the processor, you can add more processors. In some uh, lab, maybe we need two processors, I don't remember. You can choose two processors if you, you have enough processor. And all others just, uh, Leave it as default. And we can change the processor later if we need. The display, just choose the default settings. Storage, uh, now we have a hard drive controller, but there is no hard drive. We have an IDE controller. Also, we have an empty CD drive. If you want to add some ISO image, you can put it here. The audio lived as default. The main thing we need to set up is here. We need to attach it to uh, net network. This one we need to modify. And advanced, just choose that as default adapter type. And the promise kills mode, we need to choose a long one. And the MAC address, you can click this uh, refresh several times to it will generate a new MAC address for you. On a single virtual machine, you can add up to four adapters or for a network card. Serial ports lived as default. USB lived as default. Shared folder, here the shared folder, we, we want to create a shared folder. Then you can share that folder. This folder is the folder on your host machine, on your laptop, here. On my laptop, I would like to choose the 
the shared folder on my, here on my external USB drive. I can create a name, for example, let's just create a share. This is a folder I will share with my uh, virtual machine. So now see uh, it's a, the folder path is this one, and the folder name is share. This name is the important name. Inside your virtual machine, you will use this name to refer to this shared folder. And others just leave the uh, default. Click OK. This is a shared folder. So let's uh, summarize the settings. The shared folder this is the first one we need to take care of. Then the network we attach the virtual machine network to the net network. And the name is the net network we just created. So it's, it's the name. And uh, other stuff just leave that as a default. I think uh, the system I was changed. Uh, this a uh, pointing device to PS2 mouse. And also in the general, I enabled the shared clipboard and uh, drag and uh, drop. Okay, that's it. We click OK. Then you, you can see the summary. This is the summary, name, operating system, memory, booting, boot water, acceleration. You can see uh, the stuff here. The network is attached to this uh, net network with the name. The name is net network. Its type is all for net network. And I have one shared folder here. All right, now we need to uh, add that uh, hard drive to our virtual machine. That hard drive is that uh, image we downloaded on Monday. So I need to uh, find that one. On Monday, I saved uh, my seat. I think I'm, I saved my seat, uh, seat under this, uh, oops, it's under this uh, document. Okay, this is the seat I extracted, right? So you can copy this one. And uh, paste to the external USB drive. Here, this is my external USB drive. Actually, I have this seat here, I delete this one. Go to your VMS, the CD1 machine, CD1 virtual machine. You see the contents here. I would like to paste uh, that seed here. Because we only need to, uh, oops, now it takes some time, 9.2 gigabytes. It takes some time to uh, copy the files. That file is the disk image. And we will attach this disk image to our virtual box, to our virtual machine's uh, disk controller. Here we have this uh, controller, SATA controller. And there is no drive attached to this controller. I still need uh, seven seconds, then it will be completed. Okay, now it's uh, done. These are the images we need. You need to copy all the image. And you're going to see. Put it inside your seed one. Now you, you see a waste space here. Actually, I can remove that one. Control V copy here. Oops, you copy again. This is a stupid. Maybe we can just. Uh, Move it. How do we have a quick way to move it? We just delete, uh, we just copy this uh, seed box we, we just created, right? We have two seed, uh, this, these two are the two we just created. We can't just see, copy these two and uh, come to this folder. Can we paste here? Paste here. So you have many ways. Now we can delete this seed one. And rename this one as seed one. 
rename it as seed one. Then we don't need to copy from one folder to another folder. So this is the virtual machine we created. And this is the disk we, we want to attach to a virtual machine. Now how do we attach it? Come to this uh, storage. Click this uh, controller. You see this uh, icon as an optical drive. The second one is as hard disk. We add a hard disk here. Now you see I have two hard disks here. I need to add one more hard disk. This hard disk we will choose here. Pay attention to the folder. These the folders, so your machine may be different. I choose the first one. There's no uh, appendix, something like this, dash S00 something. But now I click open it. Now you see uh, it says not attached. It's okay, now I choose it here. Highlight this one and choose it. So it's attached here. Now my virtual machine is complete. I attached the seat hard drive to my virtual machine. Click OK. Oops, it looks like wait a little bit of time. OK, now check the summary. It's attached to set port zero with this seed of Ubuntu uh, image. And you see its size is just 20 gigabytes, it's allocated. But uh, this is the virtual size. It's a real size. What's the real size? It's a real size is here. You can uh, right click to find its real size. Here you see its real size is 9.2 gigabytes. Okay, now we can start our seed one virtual machine. Click start. Sometimes if you cannot drag and drop your the virtual machine, you will need to press the right control key. Press the right control key on your keyboard. Then you can move. You see now I cannot move it, right? I press my right control key. After that, then I am able to move it. So this is uh, looks like some uh, problem of this uh, virtual box version. This uh, my version is this point uh, one point ten. So I always suggest you use the latest stable one. Okay, this uh, virtual machine. Oops, every time I need to uh, press the control key to move it. After I click the other place, I need to press the right control key to enable the move. Okay, this is uh, what it looks like. By default, it's logged in automatically. And you can click open this terminal. This terminal is the terminal window. And you can see the default user is a seed. You type ls to list out the contents in the home folder. You can see these contents. If it uh, popped up uh, update, don't update your virtual machine. Otherwise, some uh, labs may not work. Okay, this uh, virtual machine, uh, what it looks like. Now the IP address, as uh, we discussed, we, I didn't save the IP address, right? We need to make sure uh, the network uh, worked. How do we verify the network? First, we need to verify its IP address. We use IF configure dash A. You can see uh, the this is the network card. Here is address. Do you see the address is not right? I attached it to a, a net network, and that net network IP address I, I, I remember I set it as here the net network. The address I set it as ten dot twenty dot thirty dot zero. Here. Oops, uh, it's a net network. You see that the CIDR. So which means 
there are some there are problem you know, that that's not all work work correctly. It's okay as a engineering student, as a technology student, we need to solve the problem you met. So now we need to solve the problem of this IP address. So one way we can set the IP address uh, statically. So we close this one. We can use this GUI way to set up the, the network here. This is the network connection. We disconnect the network first. Then we add the connection. We have two connections. One connection one year ago. This is the connection when they create this uh, virtual machine. So we can delete this one. We just modify the current one. Double click or choose that edit. So you can uh, check these uh, settings general, but just to use leave it as default. It's not leave it as default. As default, as default, we only change the IPv4 settings. So we know IPv6 is disabled. Here we can choose a manual. So manual, then we can set the address manually. The address, we can set it as 10.20.30. Let's see, uh, uh, 11. 11 for the first one, 22 for the second one, and 33 for the third one. Now the net mask, the net max, you can just type 24. Or there's a net mask, 24, it, it does not work. If it does not work, we just uh, the net mask. Uh, net, net mask, uh, you can use 255.255.255. .255 .255. File file. Dot zero. So you write this way is also okay. Now for the now you see the leave it as 24. I wonder why I type 24 first, it does not work. Now the gateway. Oh my mistake, I type in the gateway. So the gateway is a ten dot twenty dot thirty dot one by default. It's a setting by which box itself. In VMware, you can change this gateway, but I didn't find a way to change the gateway or which box. All right, the DNS server, just choose the gateway, 20.20.30.1. You can also add a famous DNS server, Google's .8.8.8. This is Google's uh, DNS server, and 8.8.4.4. All right, that's good. And then we can uh, save it. So we only change this uh, IPv4 settings, all others just leave it as default. Save, it, close it, then connect it. Another wired uh, connection, connection tool. So it's a uh, connected connection established. You are now connect, connected to the Ethernet network. Okay, we want to check whether it works. We can pin the pin the gateway first. Ten dot twenty dot thirty dot one. You see, uh, it's work. It worked. Then we can pin Google. dot com. Uh, you see, uh, it it also worked. Okay, the network is good for this uh, virtual machine. As uh, we discussed, we need three virtual machines attached to the same net network. So this is the first virtual machine. Uh, we still need to set, set up a, a shared folder, right? As we discussed. So how do we set up that uh, shared folder? That uh, shared folder, you can see a uh, From this uh, document, you choose a shared folder, then you can, uh, here is a clone the, the virtual machine. Let's see what the sh shared folder here. Shared folder, appendix D, how do, how do we create a shared folder? Here, add a shared folder we just did it a moment ago, right? We have a shelf here. They choose a water amount and make permanent. I don't like uh, that. So I would like to use this uh, 
command. And you can add this command to this uh, file inside your virtual machine. Then you don't need to run this command every time. So here, I need to, uh, here now you see I cannot move it. Every time I need to press control to move it, I can move it uh, here, a little bit lower. Open a terminal window. Run sudo mount. Actually, I can try a copy and a paste to see whether it worked. Copy. Come here. Paste. Okay, you see it worked because at the beginning I enabled that shared clipboard. Here we need to change something. Sudo mount dash t we box ssf uh, sf this is a type of the file system dash o means option read and write the shared folder we can read and write the uid gid is the user id and the group id now this name share is the name when we set that virtual machine now we have one folder this host folder do we have a host folder in our home folder so we need to verify that. Just right click, then you split it uh, horizontally. So we can type uh, ls. You see there is no host folder here. So we need to uh, make dir host. So we have a host fo folder now. Yeah. This is a host I just uh, created. Okay, now we can run this uh, host. Press enter. You type ls again. You see this color, the color of the host changed, right? It, it added a green shadow. You would type ls, host, you see nothing there. I can create a file, touch test.txt. And I want to put something inside. So you can use a echo. This is, this is a from the guest. Who is the guest? The guest is this seed virtual machine to the test.txt. Okay, if we check its contents, you see now it contains one sentence inside. This folder is shared with the host, so which means on my host machine, I should be able to see this file test.txt I created. So I need to open the host machine file explorer. Come to that shared folder, right? Shared folder, uh, refresh. Oops, uh, it, it's not uh, created here. So what we need to figure out what uh, what's the problem. So we need to uh, verify for this seed one is shared folder. Check shared folder first. Here the shared folder is under this uh, place. MNTVMS share. Here. MNTVMS share. It is here. So which means there is no problem for our settings. So what problem why we cannot uh, write this uh, this test.txt, actually uh, this test.txt, I didn't put it under that host folder. I just put it under the home folder. You type ls, you see this test.txt is under my home folder. This uh, tilde means your home folder. So we, we need to move this test.txt into this uh, host folder. So we move test.txt to that host folder. Okay, now it's inside that host folder, you come to the to this uh, host file explorer, you see this test.txt. You can also open it with uh, any editor, for example, with a genie. Yeah. This is from the guest. So you see uh, the shared folder worked. Now, certainly I can create a file on the host side 
Here you see a host.txt. And you can add some content, say this is from the host, right? This is from the host. And control S, save it. Okay, now you go back into your virtual machine, CD to your host. You should see that a file, host.txt. You can check its contents, cat host.txt. You see this is from the host. So through this way, you can share files between your virtual machine and your host. Now we want to make that uh, settings uh, permanent. So here we need to put this line or code inside this file. You can use this command and uh, put this line to that uh, file. To simplify this one, we just copy this uh, command line. Then type sudo gedit etcrc.local. All right, now you see we open a, a text editor in the virtual machine. We can put before that x exit zero, paste here. And uh, control S, save it. Here, to click this one, save it is okay. Now it's saved and close it. Then I close this uh, terminal window and uh, power off my virtual machine. Don't, uh, some students still, so like uh, click this one. This is not the right way. This just like you push the power button on your machine. It, it will very likely corrupt your disk. So the good way or the right way you need to power off your machine from inside, just like you power off your desktop and the laptop. You see, I still cannot move it. I need to press the right control to move it. Here, the right control. Now wait a moment until uh, it's part off. Here, check the shared folder. This time I want to make it up. Oops, that's no make permanent. It's okay, just leave it like this. We don't know use the word mount because we use that uh, mount command. Okay, now the other two virtual machine. Once this uh, virtual machine is good, everything is good, right? Now we, we can clone the other two virtual machine. You right click, you see the one and clone another one. And save it at the same uh, photo we chose that at the beginning. So this one we create a C2. C2 now. The MAC address policy is better to choose a, it says include only net network adapter MAC address. We would like to create a new, new MAC address for all new network adapters. We can include, a, this one include a, or network adapter MAC addresses during cloning. It's also okay, we can uh, uh, modify it later. And uh, go to uh, next, let's see the expert mode. Uh, full clone, make sure you choose a full clone. By default is full clone. Here by default it also include only the Net network adapter MAC address is okay. Choose uh, this default one. We will modify it later and click clone. It will take some time to clone one machine, but it, it's faster than you create another one from scratch and set, set everything again.
After this is done, we need to modify the MAC address, check and verify those settings. The main setting we need to modify is its uh, static IP address. We need to go inside and modify its uh, static IP address. So we, we test here in our lab one. The first process, set up the lab environment, the virtual machine, how to set up the virtual machine is demonstrated. How to set up and, uh, set up and test the net network is, is done in virtual machine one, but we still need to test whether these virtual machine can pin each other when they connect to the same net network. The process you set up and test the shared folder, it's done. Okay, we only left one thing. To test all these uh, uh, virtual machines can ping each other, they can communicate with each other. Because in some labs, we need one virtual machine serve as a attacker and one serve as a victim. Then we, so they must be put in the same net network. All right. We just uh, leave it here and we can uh, reveal the Linux command. Linux command memento. These are the popular commands. You need to uh, be familiar with here. This is a memento. You see that is a PDF file, that is also an ODT file, the LibreOffice. So you can find the source code and uh, modify it. The, there are also some slides about a Linux introduction. If you have interest, you can check the uh, Linux uh, introduction here. You will see uh, it's a uh, little discussed. The Linux command line, the Unix and the Linux command command line. You see that discussed uh, everything. The basic. Uh, Stuff for Linux, everything is a file, the file system structure, command line, interpreter, interpreters, handling files and directories, display, scanning, and sorting files, symbolic and hard link, file access rights. Actually, let's see, there's no uh, table of content. This uh, training contents one and training contents two, I think it's all inside here. You can consider this as uh, table of content. Standard input and output redirecting to files. Pipers redirecting standard output to other commands. Standard error. If you are not familiar with this advanced stuff, it's okay. Because you will learn them in ITS uh, 372. So you only need to know some basic Linux commands for this course. Task control, you can see the, the content here. Text editor, how do we add our files, print our files, compile files, look for files, and so on. And that is a memento or cheat sheet. Here, this is a VI memento or cheat sheet. So, this cheat sheet, oops, this is a VI cheat sheet. VI is a command line text editor, it's an advanced editor. If you one, you can practice one, this is not required. We use a GUI uh, text editor. So the command memento, command memento here. These are some popular commands. Handling files and directories, listing files, file name, pattern match display, file contents, handling file contents, changing file access rights, Looking for files, redirecting command output, job control, file and partition size, sizes, printing, user management, basic system administration. For example, that display all available network interfaces, IF configure dash A. Or you can use command to change the change the IP address or network interface. You use to do IF, IF configure followed by the interface name followed by the IP address and so on. You can also put an interface down and print up. 
So uh, need to practice by yourself. Let's see. I will demonstrate some popular commands after uh, that network is all complete. So now I have a C2. I still need to create a C3. C3, clone it, full clone. Okay, again, it uh, takes some time. When it's uh, going on, we can learn this uh, uh, command. Here, first one is uh, files and directories. We just uh, demonstrate, create a host file, right? Make the uh, host. You can also create nested directories. You can go to that folder as we cd into the uh, host folder and the ls. We use the ls listing files. I can bring that uh, command window here. Here is the shared folder. You can right click and uh, space open a terminal. Then inside this terminal, you can practice all the commands. You type ls to list the contents in that shared folder. Here, ls sh ls dash l display a long listing. ls dash l display a long listing like this. You see it's access rights, user group, and uh, the date and the time. And you can use other options. How do you find the exponential of all those options? You use ls dash dash help. Dash dash help, it will show you a, a brief explanation of all those uh, switches. For example, what does dash a mean? Dash a means do not ignore engines started with a uh, single dot. And if dash l, what does uh, dash l mean? Dash L means use a long listing format. What does dash T mean? Dash T here, sort by modification time, newest first, newest first. So if you check this one, it says list by time, most recent files first. Okay, just a transphrase. All right, you can use the other See all the options. If you want to find a detailed explanation, you can use man ls. Man means manual. Then you can see a more detailed explanation of this ls command. How do you use this manual? You can press H for help, press Q to quit. Press Q, quit that help. You use your arrow key, bring up this command, the upper arrow. Then you can uh, press enter. Press enter to scroll down. How do I scroll up? You can you press the K key. How do I know these keys? You press H, this H for help. H for help. Now you can see this uh, shortcut. E forward one line. Y backward one, one line. F forward one window. B backward one window. So you, you can. Uh, I don't remember this stuff. Since you are young, uh, you should be able to remember or uh, uh, quit. Okay, this is how do you learn the command. Actually, another way you can use Google. Google is very nice, right? You use, uh, you, you want to find the help of Linux uh, command. LIS, examples. Then you will see 15 basic uh, LS command examples in Linux. Uh, here there are some tutorials. So there are lots of materials online. Or you can use this uh, LS command, uh, uh, just type of Wikipedia. You will see uh, Wikipedia. Here, the Linux and the Unix LS command tutorial with the examples. So you can see uh, a table organized by tasks or by how tools. So you can follow this uh, 
tutorial or you can check this uh, Wikipedia. You can see Wikipedia is very, very nice. It uh, explains its history, where this LS is from, and uh, what is the uh, current status. You can see the, all this stuff. History, behavior, sample usage, see also reference. Now you see the best uh, reference is Wikipedia. Here the behavior, here the example, here the sample usage, then some uh, related uh, commands, and so I think our virtual machine is done. Six seconds. Okay, when it's done, we part up, then uh, modify its uh, static IP address. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop me and uh, ask your question, or you post your question on the chat. Um, Professor, you want um, those static set just make it easier for us because I have them all set, but I just wanted to make sure that people understand that. Yeah, static set is uh, better than dynamic set, dynamic uh, configuration because maybe some version box uh, version that they are messed up your automatic setup. As uh, I just when you see when I power up the seed one, you see it messed up that uh, not another work. All right, and then the second question I have is, you, do you just want the default um, size for the configurations for the um, virtual machines, the 20 gigs? Uh, yes, okay. just the default size is good enough for this uh, seed virtual machine. For other courses, for example, if we want to create a virtual machine from scratch, install this uh, virtual machine with uh, Ubuntu ISO image, then we will need to determine the disk size and the RAM size by ourselves based on our needs. For this seed virtual machine, just use the default settings is good enough. Okay, now I need to power up my seed two. Don't power up them uh, all at the same time. After we modified the their IP, static IP address, then we can it's okay to power up others. We can power up the two first. Okay, it's up. Now we Disconnect is a network connection and uh, add file uh, and add the network connection. Delete this one, we don't need it. Here you just use this one. Uh, before we delete it, let's check what, what is inside. This one, happy before, you see it's, uh, this, this uh, automatic DH, based on DHCP. This connection two, Happy before, okay, we use this uh, this one. We modify it by, uh, modify this IP address to 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two with seed 2. 1-1 one, one is seed 1. 3-3 three, three is seed 3. To make it easier to, re to remember and save it. Then we, we don't need the, that connection one, that deleted. And uh, close. Then we uh, connect with Oops, that, that connection, it didn't show up. So that I just moved too fast. It uh, does not show, show up. There's some problem with this uh, stuff. If I click where the network connection one, is all, I wanted to delete it. So you see connection activation failed. So, how do we solve this problem? First, we can use IF configure to find all those interface. Now I have an interface here. This interface is not connected. Its name is called this one. And copy this one. We use a sudo IF configure. 
And uh, followed by this one, let's see where this works. Render up. It's still one. So this time we, we restarted this, this one. You see, I cannot move it. So I need to press the right control to move it. It's okay, I power, power up this uh, series three. Okay, I need to press control key to move it. Oh, this is three is up. I disconnect this one and uh, add the add the connection. Here, connection one is that uh, automatic one, and this time we don't go uh, too fast. We can modify this one. Do the money and uh, type it again. Let's check this one. What is that? My network to a uh, wired net connection to it is one show up here. What is the net? So it uh, just does not show up. Let's see uh, what happened. I have configured dash a. Did you see it's messed up? This stuff. So I just uh, moved it too fast and uh, that uh, network too just that's not a shop. What net, uh, what is net? So I, I, I wonder why this uh, does not work. Let's remove this one. Add that again to see some options. Here, these options they are they were inherited when we set the seed one. So we didn't uh, change this stuff. Let's have a, have a try. Uh, one reason maybe is this uh, this uh, address is is not right because when we uh, create this new virtual machine, we ask the virtual box to change its uh, MAC address. We can check its MAC address. I have configured dash a. Now that uh, MAC address, this MAC address. Let's see what is the same as the MAC address here. Did you see it? it's different? So there's a problem. We copy this one, paste here. And uh, save it. If it doesn't show up, maybe we need to uh, power off and then power up. So do I have configured the name of that uh, is called uh, MP0S3. Power it down and power it up. Let's see whether we can see it. Okay, now you, you see it's here. Connect. Then type uh, I have configure dash a. Okay, we see uh, his address is good now. We can pin the gateway 
10 dot 20 dot 30 dot uh, this uh, one gateway is always dot one is it good then we pin uh, google google.com is it good okay the seed two is good now for seed for this uh, seed three we know how to solve this problem right because that uh, mac address is uh, modified when we uh, when we clone the virtual machine and the mac address should be different because of the same net on the same local networks network we cannot have two same mac address first we need to check the mac address we open a terminal window I have configure dash a so it's mac address is this one copy the mac address come to our network settings this network to our connection to kind of we paste here save it and a close We need a power, power, power off and power up. So do I have configure this amp zero S three down part up. Okay, we have a connection to connect it. Now we can use I have configure to verify. Is IP address? It's one well, we didn't modify its IP address. So we need to modify its IP address. Uh, you can practice how to use command line to modify IP address. Command line. How do you use command line to modify IP address? You use uh, this. Uh, oops, the command memento. How do you uh, modify the IP address with this one? With the IF configure. So do IF configure followed by the interface name, followed by the IP address. You can use this one. So let's try that one. In our series three. So do IF configure followed by the interface name amp 0s3. Then uh, followed by the IP address. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, we, we can uh, use a, a GUI way. 10 dot, 20 dot, uh, 30 dot. Uh, this uh, seed three, we use a uh, three three here, seed three, three 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 three. Okay, it's uh, set to uh, this IP address. We can check it, three three. Now let's pin, uh, it's, uh, pin the gateway, 10 dot, 20.30.1 it worked then we pin uh, google pin google.com network is unreachable why and power off and power up again to see whether we can solve this problem power done Up, pin Google. Still uh, unreachable, so we need to check the settings. Where to? Uh, disconnect first, then add to find a uh, check IP before this stuff uh, here. How why you didn't modify? Search three. So, uh, so we can check the the Mac here that I want to modify the Mac. This is where to. Okay, now it worked. The last test, we need to make sure all these virtual machines can pin each other. So we, we just demonstrate this virtual 
seed three and seed two, they can ping each other. So you, in three, seed three, you ping 20 dot, 20 dot, 30 dot, uh, uh, two, two. Two, two is this uh, seed two. So you see it worked. And from two, you ping uh, seed three. 20 dot, uh, 20 dot, 30 dot, uh, oops, three, three. Okay, you see it uh, was uh, worked. The last uh, chat, the last checker, power up uh, seed one. I cannot move it, I need to press the control key to move it. Okay, now uh, seed one is up. The window is, I need to change the window a little bit larger. Okay, we pin, for example, seed two, 10 dot, 20 dot, 30 dot, two, two. It worked. 